guys, I'm going to help you graph inequalities in WebAssign. This first one, you should be able to quickly work it out. Divide both sides by 5. You do not need to flip the inequality sign because I'm not multiplying or dividing by negative. So your answer is simply x is less than 7. How do I graph it in WebAssign? I have a choice. I can use an open dot or a parentheses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the open circle, go to 7, and that's where I'm going to put it. Click. And then it even wants to know, again, which one do I want to use. So I will say an open circle. Less than 7, I'm going to grab my pencil. Less than 7. So I want to graph the area less than 7. All of this area, and then it'll go on and on and on to negative infinity. Grab your pencil. Say shade right here for me, please. And there we have it. I will submit it. See, this is the great thing about WebAssign. Even if you're doing homework at 2 a.m., it will let you know, yes, you are on the right track. You did get it correct. Okay, let's do one more in this problem. I would add 2 to both sides. My answer would be x is less than or equal to 9 less than or equal to. I need to use the closed circle or you could use the bracket. So a bracket is equivalent to the closed circle. Parentheses or the open dot, open circle. Those mean that it is just less than or it is just greater than. I am going to grab the bracket less than or equal to 9. Now be careful here. Here's 8 so 9 is right there less than or equal to, so I will have to grab the right bracket. It's still asking me which one to put here, so I will put the right bracket. And less than or equal to, I'm going to shade all of this area. So grab your pencil, click, and there you have it.